Hi, I'm Lowell Bailey with the U.S. Biathlon team. I'm here in Presque Isle, Maine for the Biathlon World Cup. I'm going to show you the 3.3 kilometer men's sprint course. Okay. So here we are leaving the stadium, headed out on the course. You head out this way on a gradual exit and then head into the woods where things get interesting. Under the bridge, all the teams are testing skis, getting used to the snow here. This is the first climb, it's a gradual climb that gradually gets steeper in the end. This course is challenging because of all of the sharp corners. This is one of them, 180 degrees. And a lot of transitions from downhills directly into steep uphills. So you have to be changing techniques all the time. This is where all your maple syrup can come from if you want. Here's the one of the most challenging downhills, the corkscrew. Sharp turn and now we're on a slalom course. Ted Ligety would like that part. Now we continue down, more transitions, twists and turns. The snow here is very cold. The temperatures have been cold. You can hear it kind of squeaking like styrofoam. So that makes it interesting for waxing. We'll be on very hard, cold wax, very fine stone grinds for the ski base. Now we're at the bottom of the course and we start the longest extended climb of the course. Starts out very gradual. but it's undulating, so it changes. And even though it looks flat here, there goes Johannes. Even though it looks flat, you're still working and you're still on the climb. This is the one spot here for 100 meters where it is actually flat. And now we start the steepest climb. And this is where you're getting towards the last half of the loop. If it's the last lap, this will, if it's close, this will most likely be where the race will be decided. It's very challenging coming from that extended gradual climb, you come into it with very little recovery. 
And just when you get to the top of the steep part, there's another 100 meters of gradual climb. So you have to just will yourself to keep going and push through over the top. And here we have one of the other downhills coming back into the stadium, or by the stadium, I should say. You can see the bridge, the access. Stadium is just to my right, up there. But we continue out again. Over the, the mini roller coaster bumps here. There goes Andreas Biernbacher. <laughs> and this is another aspect of this course. These, these little bumps break up what otherwise would be just a flat section. So it forces you again to change your technique and go through transitions. And I think this course favors the technical skiers. Those skiers that can shift gears quickly and efficiently. It's a beautiful day in Presque Isle. Minus 10 Celsius, that is. Good skiing. And now we're in the last 500 meters or so headed to the shooting range. So you can see it's, it's a challenging shooting range because you don't get much rest coming in. There's some others where you're more of a downhill approach. Right here it's actually uphill as you turn into the range. And here's the shooting places. Pretty calm today, not too much wind. We can get wind here for sure. And I think we will see some. The end of the shooting range, you head back out. And one of the more interesting parts of this course is the penalty loop, which I hope this is the only time I go inside. But as you can see, the timing building is directly in the center of the penalty loop. So the athlete, if you have a penalty, skis around the penalty loop while everyone who's warm and inside gets to watch you suffer. <laughs> so we're on the penalty loop right now. There's Christian Manzoni, the photographer. Hi. And hopefully you get out of the penalty loop at some point and head back out onto the course or head to the finish. Thanks and see you in the sprint.